what would you do if you turned on your tap this morning and no water came out? Or perhaps if you stepped into the shower and you were immediately drenched in stinking bruised wastewater? Water sustainability is vitally important to our life, but brutally underappreciated. And that is a value that we need to change. I've learned that over the course of the semester. Water is very important to everyday life, and so is the sustainability. And also, the people that maintain that sustainability are brutally underappreciated. But if we have learned anything over the course of the semester, is that we need to protect these water sources and how to do it, and that we are the right people to do it. Something that we don't often realize is that water reaches into every aspect of our lives. Sure, we wash ourselves and drink with it, but there's so much more. The food we eat lives by drinking water. The wood making up our houses grows from using water. The concrete and asphalt we use to pave our roads is made with water, and the power fueling our lights and electronics is generated with water. Life without water wouldn't just be difficult. It wouldn't exist. And more important should be placed on the fact that we have clean water. We can drink water from any public source here in the U.S. and not catch any nasty diseases. That is absolutely spectacular. And it's not only the water that's underappreciated, though. It's the people who work to make Every time you drink from a tap, you're drinking water that has been pumped by someone, filtered by someone, and then piped to your house by someone. You hear about groundbreaking new technology in the news, but you never hear about the person who checked the reservoir for cholera today. I'm not devaluing advancements in tech, just saying that they wouldn't be possible if we could travel a mile for clean water every day. The people who maintain clean water systems are just as important as those who do the masses, if not even more. Sure. Switch jobs might not be glamorous, but they are necessary. Workers like them are the real heroes. We don't have to leave all the work to them, though. Over the course of this class, we've also learned how to help out. We can ensure that there's water for the future via the many conservation tactics we've learned. We can fix leaky appliances, adjust the efficient ones, take shorter showers, water our lawns later in the day, and much more. This helps water workers, too. Since a lower demand for water it means an easier job for them. Any small amount helps. We also learned that we can reach out to our senators and convince them to protect both these people and our water sources. Because they do need protecting. Our aquifer is depleting by the day, and chemicals are starting to seep into our water supply as well. We can fix that, though. All we have to do is use less water and be more vocal about these issues. Believe it or not, your voice. I know I may sound like a broken record at this point, but believe me when I say just how important it is that water is saved. It's vitally important to our everyday lives. We literally need it to survive. It's underappreciated, and so are the people who maintain them. They work every day to ensure that we have clean water that is easy and accessible. We've also learned over the course of this class the many different ways conservation, maybe reaching out to the senator, and changing laws at a higher level. But ultimately, if we've learned anything, it's that we can make a change. And any change, no matter how small, affects all of us on a 